We previously counted down the Terraria Top 5 armors, but this time, we're going to update it with Patch 1.3. So today, we're going to count down again the Terraria Top 5 armors as of 1.3. This list is going to contain some of the best armor out there, but before we get started, I would like to give a shout out to Spectral, Titan, and Dragon armors, because they are console and mobile exclusive. They are really great armors, but I'm going to focus on Patch 1.3 and what is yet to come for those two systems. So with that, let's go ahead and get things started at number 5. This one was a little bit tricky because I was torn between Shroomite armor and the Beetle armor, but I chose the Shroomite armor because it has a nice stealth option that can keep the heat off you for a little bit, but most importantly, once you combine the Sniper Rifle with the Shroomite armor, you're getting some highly critting damage from the gun, which is amazing to say the least. The Shroomite armor may be pretty expensive to craft, but it can throw down some pretty big numbers in damage and is very helpful. If you sit back and look at it, the damage and knockback of ranged weapons is increased up to 45% while in stealth, so that's pretty hard to top. Yeah, the beetle armor does have nice damage resistance, but then again, Shroomite armor is bringing the pain with the damage. Number 4 Hands down, the Spectre armor is a mage's best friend, there's no other way of putting it. There's two sets for this armor, you either have the healing set with the Spectre hood, or you have the DPS set with the Spectre mask. Either way, you really can't go wrong. The Spectre hood allows you to do damage and get some of your health regenerated between you and some of your close by allies. If you choose to go with the Spectre mask, you're going to get a little bit more mana saving power, as well as doing more damage as well, which is pretty cool. Either way, the Spectre armor is very useful. And I have to say, the looks of the Spectre Mask is pretty awesome overall. One thing to quickly note about the Spectre Hood, currently right now in PC version, it decreases your manic damage by 40%. Again, that's only in PC version so far, so we'll see how that goes. Number 3 The next three armors are very interchangeable depending upon your playstyle. But say hello to the Vortex Armor, the Ranger's best friend. Once you get to the Celestial Event and you can kill the Moon Lord, the Vortex Armor is very awesome. What I like on this is the actual armor bonus. You can actually double tap down to toggle stealth, increase your ranged ability, while reducing chance of enemy targets being seen, but at the same time, you're going to be slow as well. This set also has one of my favorite abilities, the 25% chance to not consume ammo, which is very awesome, which is very awesome for all those out there trying to save on their ammo. What I think is pretty cool is as you get more pieces, the light intensifies with the armor set. So the more pieces you get, the more brighter it shines. Pretty neat. But overall, say hello to your endgame ranger armor. Number 2 Say hello to the nebula armor. A very interesting armor indeed. It's the endgame set for mages. And the thing I like to point out first is the fact that it has a chance to spawn buff boosters. Now these can be for damage, for life, or for mana, but as you continue to fight, these little things can come in quite handy. Once you have all three pieces, it increases maximum mana by 60 and reduces mana usage by 15. Once again, as you get each piece, the light level will increase with a purple hue, which I think is really cool. I like the coloration of this armor. But again, the biggest thing is going to be the boosters that drop. They only last for 8 seconds, but again, they can become quite the lifesaver depending upon what you get. Damage Booster will increase your damage by 15% for 8 seconds. Life Booster will increase your health regeneration by 4 per second for 8 seconds. That's a mouthful. And of course, the mana will increase your mana regeneration for 8 seconds. And finally, number 1. At the number 1 spot is going to be the Solar Flare Armor. This armor gives you the most damage in the game and looks very awesome to say the least. What's interesting, as you get the full set, it actually gives you a solar shield which generates over time protecting you, and of course once you can dash it consumes the shield, which can be used to damage enemies, something very similar to the Shield of Cthulhu. As you take damage, these shield charges will deplete and take a little bit of time to regenerate, but it isn't long. Now if you're in multiplayer, the thing about this armor is, when you wear it, there's a significantly higher chance that the enemies will target you, so you're pretty much the tank when you wear this armor. In single player, this really doesn't mean much because, quite frankly, you're the target anyway, but it's nice to see that they have this in for the multiplayer aspect of it. Of course, as with the rest of the Celestial Event armors, each piece will emit a little bit of light, the more that light will get brighter. Also, one quick note, as you move with this armor, you'll get a little after effect as well, which is pretty neat. Okay, friends and elements, that's going to do it for our Terraria Top 5 armors. 
One thing I didn't mention was the Stardust Armor, which is very awesome for summoners. Of course, the set bonus on that will give you the Stardust Guardian, which is kind of like a sentry that'll help you out in fighting enemies. But, unfortunately, there was no spot on this list as we had to give proper due to the other armors. But the Stardust Armor is a thing and is pretty awesome to say the least. Thank you anyway, please be sure to share your Terraria Top 5 armors down below in the comments section as always, I love to hear from you. New viewers, be sure to subscribe for more Terraria Top 5s, gameplays, and other video game gameplays as well. There'll be more in the future. I'm Graz, and thank you for watching. Have yourselves a wonderful day. The day is almost over. I'll see you again next time.